week after the full moon. Full inclusion, happy everything to everybody. I've got the best idea. Fight me, it's the best. I'm going to dress up like a traditional Austrian schnabel perchta. Schnabel perchta. Schnabel perchta. Yeah, one of those. So, perched up on Christmas morning or during the Epiphany, which is the 12 days of Christmas from, De from December 25th until January 6th. She is supposed to be a symbol of good luck. She's supposed to go and clean out all the bad luck from the previous year in order for preparation for the new year. She also um, is just all types of my vibes. She dresses like a Slavic peasant. She's got a bird bill on her face. She carries around a broom and a pair of scissors. So what Perched is going to do is she's going to come around during the Epiphany or on Christmas morning or in early January. She's going to inspect to see if you cleaned your room. Is this place clean? And if you didn't, she's going to sweep it all up and then cut your stomach open with her scissors and shove it all inside. She's also associated with spinning, like spinning wool into thread or yarn. And so she's also going to inspect to see if you've done good hard work. She's basically hashtag girl boss. She's going to roll up and be like, hey, did you meet your quota? If not, I'm going to kill you. That's basically Amazon's policy, right? I don't read the news. So first things first, I got to make a beak. I'm going to put on some old timey clothes. Some, I got to make her basket. Here's her basket. So Perchta famously has a wooden basket or a woven basket that she carries around with her. However, I do not have a woven basket, so I just took my round laundry basket and I covered it in a brown cloth, hoping that it would uh, do the trick. I thought it did. So then I made a whole big tangle of uh, jute cord around it and then put some belts on it so that I could sling it over my shoulders. I shoved the blanket in there just to try and put some weight in it so that it wouldn't come undone. Uh, what I learned from this is that you don't really need to put a ton of effort into the things that you do in order to make them look good. Mostly it just needs to look good from a distance. I don't know if you guys watched my first video, but remember when I said that I would have further crafting endeavors with these tree branches? Well, this is what I've done with them. Ooh, basket! So I had some EVA foam laying around, uh, which is pretty lucky because it turned out pretty perfect for this project. First I took a lampshade and measured it against my face to see if it was roughly head shaped. It was not, however I used it anyway. So I figured that I would need a round portion and then a pointy portion to sit on top of my head and make a beak. Now, before you scissors aficionados come after me, these uh, fabric scissors came in a pack of three. I use one for general purposes and the other two I reserve for fabric scissors. So no, I am not committing a fabric scissors sin. So I made one for the top and one for the bottom and then I measured out the portion under my chin to make room for my face. Then I cut out the neck portion and immediately felt bad for not having better spatial reasoning and I realized later I could have cut these better. Could I have some mushroom paper please? I got a journaling project I'm working on. Yes, I also am going to make mushroom leather. One of my, my other projects is the Mushroom leather sounds like no animals die at all, but also that it doesn't impact the environment. Exactly. You can throw it on the ground and it'll rot. Literally everything that I care about will rot when you throw it on the ground. Yeah, you'll rot if I throw you on the ground. I love you! <laughs> Wait, Jeff, come back. I'm gonna go to the McDonald's and grab burgers. Unless, no, you. Want you a Big Mac? Okay. No. no. I also want to stop eating Big Macs. I would just wake up and not eat until you got home. <laughs> Lately, today I had I had a burger. What did I eat? Oh, I and then something. you would feed me, and then.
and I'd stay up all night long, but you were asleep, so I just so wouldn't eat. Yeah, it's an extra burger for your lunch. I just want a bean burger. Yesterday's lunch was perfect, just like the salad, banana, salad, banana, nuts, strawberry, nuts, strawberry, and that crispy. The crispy. Oh yeah, the front thing crispy. Yeah. Get it down. I'm filming a TikTok. Disclaimer: um, He is not my dad. I was just doing a funny. So of course I did this project because it incorporates a headscarf because headscarves are coming back. So I got this idea from a couple of uh, YouTubers. Um, I can't really pronounce one of their names, but I'm going to link them uh, down below in the description because I really think that you should check them out if you want to learn more about creepy, basically cri like Christmas cryptids from Europe. Oh girl, this is it. This is the look. Oh, oh yes, this is working for me. I might, I might just wear this. This is, you know how everybody's mad because uh, historical films won't, are, are too scared to show women in bonnets because Hollywood is coward. I think that we need to bring the bonnet back, but like this. This is where it, this is exactly where it is. I don't, it's, it's functional, it's comfortable, it's, look, look at this. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Yes! I really feel like fashion has become very limited. I'm never going to change my ways. This is just, this is comfortable, it's functional. I can, oof. I could, I've got great peripheral vision while getting great sunshade. I I look like a Tremors monster. I've got, ooh, ah. This is me now. I'm just, yeah, this is me now. Mm-hmm. Now walk off in any direction. Why is it that that thing looking up is terrifying? I don't know why. I always suspect it. I will say it provides like great shade. <laughs> like, it's like a hat, but creepier. It's noon, but the sun's not in my eyes. I'm okay with this. Like built Bringing in it back. weapon of opportunity. You say that, broom. What about the skizzers? Also, I feel like it's coming off a little like Handmaid's Tale. That, yes, yeah. Not mad at it at all.
I kind of love this. I, I wish I could just wear this, like, year-round. I wish I could go to work like this. You could. Well, not to work. I was like, you can wear that year-round if you want. We'll just be the weird people. I mean, would you deny me service if I walked into your grocery store? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. 100%. Because if you're dressing like that, it means you ain't going to come in and be normal. You're going to come in and be weird. No, okay. So I come in, and I'm just like, excuse me, sir. We're having a party, and I would like some liquor. You'd be like, no, get out. No, I'd be like, what party are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? You want to come? Oh, no. I just want to know where not to go. And then Jeez. I would just do this, and you'd be afraid. Too, too afraid to not sell me liquor. Sell me booze. There's like a little bit of the lower jaw moving when you talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> go ahead. for stopping by um if you see me out in public like this um you better also be dressed like this because this is the trend we're starting this is it i challenge everybody to just dress like a perch duck i see no issue with this okay that's it this was the video i'm i'm this is me now this is me now this is 2022 i'm coming for you it's perch does 2022, year of the purge duh. Okay, bye. screaming.